Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And for quick tip number nine, I've decided to talk about how to create bouncy balls in Adobe Muse uh, using the Muse Motion 2 widget found at museforyoushop.com. Uh, so here I have a few bouncy balls. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get right into how to create these in Adobe Muse. Uh, so here I have the website, and here is the Muse Motion 2 widget. Uh, so I'll just go to File, New Site. I'll click OK, and I'll double click on the home page. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is I'll create uh, some circles. So here in the uh, the options here, I'll select ellipse tool instead of rectangle, and I'll hold down Shift to draw a perfect circle, and I'll say 150. Uh, then I'll go to my CC libraries, and I'll just fill the circle with the color there. And I'll just copy this a few times here. Um, we'll say that color, and here, we'll say this color. All right, so there we have our three uh, circles. And now I'll go into the library panel. Uh, if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. Um, and here I'll type in MM2 for Muse Motion 2. Um, and then I'll click on the add first and I'll place at the top of my Adobe Muse website. Uh, and then I'll bring in the Muse Motion 2 2D transformations widget. So here I have the widget. And I can leave all the settings the same. I'll just have to go to the Translate Y option here. And I want to enable Translate Y. And I'll say 160 uh, pixels for the Y translate. And then for the duration, I'll say 0.58. So it's not uh, a lot of duration there. So it has a nice bounce effect. And then for the easing type, I'll say ease in. Um, and that's basically it. And we want the animation start to go to 2 uh, and not from there. Um, so that's basically it. We have the repeat, so it's going to keep repeating, and we have enable reverse play on, so it'll have that bounce effect. Um, so we see here the graphic style name is motion one. So I want to apply that graphic style name to this first circle here. So I'll go to graphic styles, I'll click on this little icon that looks like a piece of paper, I'll double click, and I'll say motion one. So now if I go to file, preview page, and browser, we see we have this ball bouncing. That looks good. So now I'll just copy this first widget um, and paste, and I'll say motion two, and we'll change the duration here to let's say uh, 0.8. So they have different bounce timing there. Um, and then we'll assign motion two to the circle. So I'll create a new graphic style, I'll say motion two. And just to keep it moving here, I'll create a graphic style here, and I'll say motion three. So I'll just copy this widget again and paste, and we'll change it to motion three here. I'll go to translate Y and we'll say one second for the duration. Okay, so if I preview this in the browser, we now have those th three different bouncing balls there. Uh, so that's it for uh, creating a bouncy ball effect in Adobe Muse with the Muse Motion 2 widget found at museforyoushop.com. Uh, so basically you want to assign the graphic style name that's in these widgets, uh, change the translate Y property. Uh, here you can change the, the length, so here it's 160 pixels. The duration, um, it'll have more of a bouncy effect if the duration is less. And the easing type, it looks good when the easing type is ease in. All right, and um, you can com combine this with the Muse Morph widget, and I'll just showcase what I did real quick with that. So here I've combined it with the Muse Morph widget. Um, so I just have a circle to a square, we see it bounces and it kind of just has this interesting morph effect. Um, so as you can see, you can do quite a bit with the Muse Motion 2 widget and the Muse Morph widget. Um, I'll be creating a few more video tutorials with kind of interesting effects like these uh, to, to give you some ideas for your own website. Uh, so that's it for quick tip number nine, uh, bouncy balls. We have bouncy balls here. And here we've combined it with the Muse Morph widget. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.